Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Dr. Donna. Welcome to Turnaround TV, content created for you by yours truly. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is the content that I have for you. I've never seen someone sit in the passenger seat and drive a vehicle. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your life. If you want to take it in the direction that it needs to go, you have to move seats. You have to take responsibility for your life and get in the driver's seat. It doesn't matter if it's a manual or automatic transmission. What's important is that you go on your life's mission. It's time for you to start looking at the world with your own eyes. Our parents tell us who we need to be. Our friends tell us what we need to see. And then we become an adult and then we get confused. It's time for you to use your peepers, your eyes, your world seekers, to see what you need to see in order for you to become who you need to be. Got it? Good. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna. Today's turnaround tip, if you allow them to drain your energy, it is 100% your fault. So you drained, and you're just gonna let them keep on draining you. You do realize it is your fault. And as soon as you put an end to it, all your energy is going to come back. Got it? Good. I have one simple question for you. How many projects have you started and you haven't completed? I'll wait. That's a big number, huh? Real leaders complete what we start. And if we don't believe that we are going to complete it because we don't believe in it, then we don't start it. It's really that simple. If you start it, you need to complete it. Got it? Good. Business 101. Encouragement and discipline are both necessary when developing your people. In order to build someone up to become their best, they need encouragement and discipline simultaneously. If you give them too much encouragement and not enough discipline, you'll lose the balance and vice versa. If everything is about discipline and nothing is about encouragement, they're still off balance. You have to bring the two to the same level. And a friendly reminder, encouragement is given publicly and discipline is given privately. Got it? Good. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Dr. Donna. Today's question, do you enjoy reading physical books? Yes or no? Hmm. Well, the votes are in, ladies and gentlemen, and the majority of people like physical books. I love physical books. I've recently started reading on my Kindle again, and I like being able to highlight the benefits of an e-reader, but there is just something about holding that physical book in my hand. I can highlight, I can dog ear the page, I can write in the margins. It feels like I'm really grasping the information. So it's a printed book for me as well my time ladies and gentlemen but before I get out of here just remember the turnaround tried and tested true and through the turnaround works best for who you that's who adios uh -huh.